forgot I had the game muted. Hold on. There we go. Greetings, Dr. Lobota. Good to see your face. Never may say so. Your claw is looking especially menacing today. One moment. If you're Dr. Lobota, where's your strappy jacket? You inmate, you still can't fool old Crispin White. I'm an orderly, you know. Good. Eh, look at him. The sun is bright, the enemy is weak, and there is a cheap. All right, let's enter Frenchie's head and see what this guy's gonna. Sacre bleu! I have been hit. Okay, so he doesn't just think he's Napoleon. Napoleon is liver. Here. Good to know. this? My lazy opponent is actually trying to win? He has sent in reinforcements. Well, well. Then let the game truly begin. Send in my best soldier. You! Destroy that bridge! For France! For France! I hate your stupid bridge. This is how much I hate you! Ha-ha! Why did the French Suck have to be here? bridge! Ah, yes. Now I shall go torment this poor peasant over here. Ha-ha! <laughs> Oh, man, now look. The bridge is broken and I can't move my pieces past it anymore. I quit. Napoleon, you win. No, we don't forfeit. We're gonna beat you, Mr. Genetic Memory of Napoleon Bonaparte. Ha-ha! <laughs> I like your je ne sais quoi, your joie de vivre. Please Maybe stop you using your fucking moon speak. speak. Your language listen, doesn't eh? matter and your culture Hello. is inferior. Burglar? I'm not a burglar. I'm a recruiter for Fred Bonaparte's army. We're a little light in our corps of engineers, see? Listen, I know you're a burglar. I've been listening to your footsteps on my roof all night trying to break in. Why don't you just slide down the chimney? I got a nice fire going for you in here, Mr. Burglar. Okay. Okay, if I'm a burglar, then how can I be down here talking to you and up on the roof at the same time? Maybe you're a ventriloquist. Listen, that's not how that if works. I go see what's up on your roof and take care of it, will you come out and help fight Napoleon? Maybe. Maybe. Good enough. Raz, that is very much not good enough, but I appreciate your optimism. 
Correct. Napoleon was only short because the French and, and uh, British measurements are different. Not that I mind, because bullying of French heroes is a good time. in the front door here. Swim, motherfucker. I'm not even getting those arrowheads out of spite. Now that we know where we're going. I'm literally just holding forward right now. Because this is jank as hell. I'm the pole. Right over here. Needs a duffel bag tag. Back for him. I fell through the rope.
here, turn invisible, run through. I'm doing my best, but this game's making it fucking. again what the fuck again oh that's good what kind of tattoo good so maybe they'll give you a discount for it I guess Fred got a little obsessed with winning. Okay, you can come out. Burglar's gone. Wow. You're pretty tough for a ventriloquist. Not a ventriloquist. Okay. Here I come. Just show me where there's some wood to work on, and I'll go to town. That was a thing that happened. Got that. How do I get him over here? Also, how is he wearing blue jeans? That wasn't a thing back in American in the 1850s. Yeah. 
We have a sick ramp. Nothing. Sends me sky high. How about you fix that broken bridge over there? Okay, How about I get you fly it. me over there. My legs seem to be glued onto this base, which is kind of weird. Hey, don't touch my pieces. That is cheating. Oh, now who went and broke my beautiful bridge? Napoleon. Look at you fixed up good as new in no time. Man, I am good. Mm. Word to the wise, give up while you can. Fred's gonna win. <laughs> I can burn wood with my mind. Well, that would be how you say, uh, cheating! Hey, don't touch my pieces! That is, hey, don't touch my pieces! That is cheating! What am I supposed to do here? Hi, is this big soldier bugging you? Yes. Well, why don't you come out here and fight him? Mm. What's the pay? Uh, freedom? Forget it. Ah! Army of Fred Bonaparte and go away. Fred Bonaparte has forgotten the people, and we have forgotten him. That's what? a fucking fool. Fred loves the people. He was just telling me that some of his best friends are uh, the people. The people. He has abandoned us. He doesn't care if we live or die. Look, I'll tell you what. I'll talk to Fred. I'll talk to him, and I'll prove to you that he cares about the common man. And that the fight is not meaningless. I'll believe it when I hear it from him. Oh. Right? Yeah. Thankfully, I think I know how to do that. I just gotta figure out how to get out of here. Damn it. That was a mistake. Ooh, tag. Oh, the, oh there's a... Okay. Problem is, people think you don't care. What? I care. Then lead them to victory, Milky Toast. Shut up. They think you don't care if they live or die. What do they want from me? A notice on my official stationery that says I'd be sad if they died? Yep. Huh. 
Well, okay then. Well, if that doesn't work... Let me guess. You give up? Bingo! Ha! Another game at which I would surely defeat you. Hey, you take that little victory if you need it, tiny man. Another tag. Come on, buddy. Hey, I have an important message from your fearless leader. Oh my god. He does care. He does. I knew it. Fred Bonaparte is the greatest leader of all time. I can't wait to die for his cause. Bruh. Well, you might not die. You might win. Hey, he's a great leader, but he's still Fred. Okay. Hurl my innocent bones into the cruel machine of war. I'm ready. Got it. Out of here, Bert. Okay, Ahmed. Sacre bleu! I cannot believe it, Fred. You have accidentally done something right. Hey, I progress! Have. Yes, but I'm afraid it's still not enough. More manpower! Ah, oh, mon dieu. I hate bridges! Ah! <laughs> Why do the French have that to be racist against my father. bridges? Bridge! Hey, stop killing my bridges. You're making me mad. this guy hi so now that the guy is gone I'm recruiting for Fred Bonaparte's army and Fred really cares what's the pay what well, this works hazardous I want hazard pay well I could talk to Fred not for me you understand has to take care of my family once I'm killed what's all this talk that's not a hazard pay that's insurance yeah Bro. You just come back when you get Fred to pay up. Try this again. So it's time to recruit some more troops. Hey, no problem. I'll just write up some more I care notes. How about writing a check, actually? Building an army is going to cost us a little. I don't really have any money. Well,. I did have this really valuable collector's coin. Passed down through generations from my father's father. Your father's I father really sounds like a douchebag, dude. I to melt dude. it down. You what? I needed more weight in my Pinewood Derby racer. Not that it would have helped the way I lost. Be surprised there. Fire. Can't get a good grip. Not me. They're supposed to be moving. Ah. Okay. Hey, you found my super valuable rare coin. Yeah. Can I have it? Knock yourself out. I got enough memories of my dumb ancestors hanging around. It's funny because Napoleon is called. Oh. 
I'm recruiting for Fred Bonaparte's army, and Fred really cares. What's the pay? Hey, check out this coin I found. Money! Oh, man! Well, I'm off to die in battle, dear, for an incompetent leader who'll never know my name. I hope you remarry well. More of that negative talk. I just hope she doesn't spend it all on scrapbook making supplies. I've gone nuts about that stuff. Part of the reason I'm so ready to die. Anyway, let's go. Alexa, play More Ready to Die by Andrew right. W.K. Now, who went and broke my beautiful bridge? Don't worry, darling. I'll get you fixed up good as new in no time. Hey. Right. Man, I am good. Mm. Better than usual, and I hate to end the fun, but I guess it's time to put an end to this, as usual. Guard the bridge to the stronghold with your life! None shall pass! Okay, Gandalf. me literally inside the figment. Hello. I'm recruiting soldiers for the army of the caring and generous Fred Bonaparte. Weapon. What? Weapon. That's what I want. I'm not gonna die like the others, okay? That's the spirit. You get me my special musket and I'll come out. I think I left it buried in some hay in that heavily guarded building over there. Great. Then I'll sign up and kill me some Napoleon lovers. Got it? Got it. Be right back. Come on. Here we go. I need the purse tag here. tag here. I think I get it though. There we go.
They haven't made me do this in forever. Second. That's a little loud. up there. Oh. I need the purse tag here. How am I supposed to get over There we go. Barely. That would have been bad if I fell off again. Got it. Can't get a good grip. 
When in doubt, arson. Hey, look, a musket. I feel like I that would have exploded in the fire. We've got this guy's musket. Get into the town. Okay, there's your special musket. Ready? All right, now I'm all set to go rob that stupid carpenter. What? I got you that gun so you could fight Napoleon's army, not the carpenter. I've been trying to break into his house for days now, but he's always got a fire going, so I can't get down his chimney. Well, could you just fight this one lousy soldier first? He's kind of in the way anyway. Okay, but just as practice. It's funny because he's gonna die. Where is he? Musket, huh? Oh, wait. Have to reload here. Die. Uh, I kill you. But I. How? Retreat! Everyone into the stronghold! Rest the drawbridge! Immediate more! Jam the mechanism with something! Anything! Hey, you can't jam the gears. That's cheating. All is fair in Lavan War. You have fought well, but that is far as you shall go, my friend. Ha, we'll see about that. Fred? Was that you? Yeah, come on, we're winning. All we have to do is unjam those gears. I'm on it, General. Okay. Guys, is. someone I could talk to up here, but I guess not. Get out of here. Hello? Sorry, I can't storm Napoleon's stronghold today. Too weak. Why are you too oh. weak? Okay, want me to call a doctor? No, I'm not sick. I just can't find any decent food around here. An army moves on its stomach, you know. An elite force such as I require an elite cuisine, I'm afraid. Oh, well, I'll keep on the lookout for some place with good takeout. Only the best, young lad. I am a Frenchman. And anything but the finest French delicacy might bruise my palate and leave me unable to storm anything. And people Save wonder why the I hate the French. Ew.
Okay, snails, it's time to serve the cause. Yay. So be it. I can the snail talk. If it is truly a time of war, then we are ready. We can no longer pull our heads into our shells and hide. We are, after all, armored warriors, and this is our land, too. We may not be fast, but we always march upon the glittering path of righteousness, for we created what? ourselves from our hearts. Lead us onward, and let us eat holes in the leaves of Napoleon's garden. Wow. Right on. Yes. That was a thing. Can't get a good grip. Charge! Delicious! I, just, I, just I haven't bad. had escargot like that since the Duchess's birthday. But even those were not so full. Spirit! I am truly inspired. Come, let us storm Napoleon's stronghold and win this game for Fred Bonaparte. Okay. But do hurry. I believe I may be hungry again soon. Can't get a good grip. We'll let God sort. Okay, so God did do a great job of sorting them out. Keeps him off my ass.
again with the through the fucking row. No problem, Bean. How's your day going at work? Mine's going good. I had a couple job interviews this morning. One went well, one didn't. I will see. I'm waiting to hear back from that first, from the one that went well on Monday to see if I moved on to the third round. The guy said he'd put in a recommendation. We'll see, though. A is way better than what I was making before. As in, I could make, if I bust my ass hard enough and get you know, missions, I could make in one week what I used to. Which I doubt will happen, but no, like, that's some. So am I. Money's money, and money's good. I lost my job last March, so I've kind of just been riding COVID out. I need to get up there, and I need for... fine i hated the job and the thing was they were already debating getting i was the night guy and they were already debating getting rid of it before covid because i'd have maybe a dozen customers if i was lucky and it was 
So basically, they weren't making enough money to justify keeping me around anyway. I worked at a gas station. I guess customer service. I kind of did everything. I was the only guy they'd had it have there when I was working. My days off, they had someone else. So basically, if you've ever been in a gas station, it's saying there was a stoned guy who was people heard. They didn't want to be there. Hi, yeah, that was my job description for years. I didn't go to. The hell? Need is to. Uh, Oh, don't get me started. I had a drunk Nazi show up one night. He was probably my favorite customer I ever had because he was hilarious. Because he was... Like, he, and when I say Nazi, I mean he was Zeke Heiling in the store and praising Hitler. And he was just drunk enough to realize that I would not sell him alcohol. But he was too drunk to stop himself from saying stupid shit. And I about died trying to keep a straight face. I kept him in there for 20 minutes before I had to politely ask him to get the hell out. Because he was trying to get me to start Zeke Heiling as well. And I'm just like, at that point, no, dude, this joke's gone on too long. Get out. He was interesting. The best part was I had a little Bluetooth speaker, and uh, as such, they would just let me play whatever music I wanted because typically no one else was there. They didn't care. As long as no one got offended by what I was playing. And you're like, yeah, thanks for playing white people music, man. Now, bear in mind, the band I was playing is Bank Old Testament. Their singer is a fellow by the name of Chuck Billy. He's about six foot five, half, my knowledge, half Hispanic and half Native American. He's the face of the band, so he's about as not white as you could say. And I'm, and the, the other main guy of the band, if he was told that he played white people music, he would be very offended, because he was he was a ride or die Bernie type. And oh boy, if I ever meet them, I'm gonna tell them that story just because I want to see their reactions, because I'm sure they would get a kick out of it just as much. Good band, though. First band I ever saw live. Catch the cannonball or something? Oh, yeah, that hand symbol, by the way, dude? That's a British thing, not a French thing. Come on. I've met a lot of interesting people. The best part was one of the managers there, he used to work nights. He really liked me and he said I accomplished the one thing in his years of working nights there he never could. And when I asked him what he said, got them to stop coming back. Not fun. Oh, I had. Oh, trust me. I, I did not enjoy working there, and I am a very blunt person. I, I wear my fun emotion on my. Whatever I gotta do, I gotta get. Mother. I. I've been fucking.
I hope I didn't sequence break this game. Thanks, IGN. Your guide is fucking useless. Alright, so I am supposed to apparently be able to jump across there. I'm gonna chalk that up to this game's physics being kind of jank for being a deep board. again. I think I figured out why I sometimes do that on ropes, because if you pay close attention to, to the rope, it's not actually flat. Like you can see it levitating there, so maybe I'm clipping through that little small gap there. Not that, I don't know what it could be. Oh, fuck you. Strat! There we go. That was annoying. Yikes! I like how the big boss of this area was a fucking national boss. <laughs> Your walls are no thicker than the crust of a creme brulee. Behold the mighty tapping of my spoon. We did it! What? what is this? Fred! Did you do this? Huh? What? I can't believe it! You! You are a Bonaparte! There is some Napoleon in your veins after all! Well, m maybe. Finally! I can resign myself back to my glorious history. The future Didn't you is die yours, unmourned on a fucking you island somewhere because warrior. you got banished Go like forth. three times? You fight all your battles with the same determination no, I think you should hear. I think and Napoleon the Third has a better reputation of in France than you. Mine. Yes, well, except for that last one, the one in Waterloo. Mm, I was sick that day. Very bad stomach cramp, let me tell you. That's why I've always got my hand tucked in here, you know? <laughs> You'll find out when you're older. It's uh, hereditary. 
you later, Bean. Is he really gone? Hello? Hello? Anyone else in here? Ha! We did it, Raz! I'm all me again. One person. Not French. Get me out of this dang jacket so I can go strangle me in orderly. Hey, good thinking, Fred. That sure would save me a lot of work. Yep. Right after I take a nap. Yes. Uh, what? Nap? <sighs> War is hell, Rasputin. And I am sleepy. <laughs> Uh, I'll take care of Crispin for you, just as soon as I... Uh... Oh, man. Greetings, Dr. Labotta. Good to see your face. I see you're wearing your favorite jacket. If I may say so, your claw is looking especially menacing today. Up to the secret laboratory, then, is it? Yep. Taking her up yourself this time, eh, Doctor? Less work for me. Inmate yeah. Whitehead. Chief Orderly Bonaparte. You're... you're... Armed. Yeah. <laughs> Got such tiny little arms. Well, here I am, up in the tower of an abandoned insane asylum, wearing a straitjacket, talking to myself. Okay, enough with the disguise. The things I do for Lily's brain. Well, if I'm going to get to the top of this thing, I'd better start hiking. No. How'd what are you go? doing sticking around here? Well, you know, now that I don't have to play this game anymore, I remembered that it was kind of fun. Just running a couple strategy ideas through my head. Alright, have fun. Oh great, the rats again. What was that? I saw you. What I saw, but I saw you. Because I'm gonna have to end. OK. 
Okay, I think I know. Whose brain did I just pick up? Maybe I should let JT have some time alone before I return this brain. Ew. And creepy. I think I just got a game over. Okay. What's up, Linda? Prepare yourself for passage, human child. Yeah. God damn it. I was already where I needed to spawn me back at the camp. What's up, Linda? Prepare yourself for passage, human child. I have to. <laughs> Hey. How Chloe sneezed this one through that helmet will never know. Okay. On the
<laughs> These things hit hard. How is she able to move fast? Damn. All right, try that again. Here we Now we're in. Um. Uh, yeah. Euclid, the fuck, yo. moving up. Must be going the right way. How the fuck is it auto? Like, I am a trained circus acrobat in this. But, one armed doctor.
impetuously. Hold on. I actually have to adjust that lamp. Oh, I can climb this. Fucker. Now I can actually have that link. Grab that brain. Huh. Phoebe's brain is warmer than the others. Ew. Well, I can set the record, the world record for gliding in this game. I don't know what I did, but I'm free now. That was a weird. I 
God damn it. I got off. Auto save. I just have to look. Yeah. I like how the game punished me for going for a collectible by sticking me in a glitch I couldn't get out of. Thank you. This is pick makes her very annoying. There we go. That took a while.
brain is warmer than the other. After he and that's why. It fuck you, spawning me all the way back here. Oh, I can just telekinesis that out of there. Grab this brain. Clem's brain. We cheers for brains. I am lost, that's the problem. To think that every cell in Mill's brain is dedicated to the ladies. Fucking weird. I do like to touch how you can see the camp from here. How can something as small as Vernon's brain hold so many boring stories? These brains are worthless, Shigo. <laughs> Just like the one in your head. No, no, they're nice. They're, they're nice brains, Dr. Lovato. Really? They're too nice. They won't fight. I need killers. I need angry brains. So you're kidnapping I them. I poke them. I twist them. What do I have to do to make them fight? 
maybe I should try my drill. I'm not gonna bring you any more brains if you're gonna be so mean to them. No matter what I do. No, no matter what. Not even if I. No, don't. Oh, not even if I no, cook no, you a little. Doctor, no. A little turtle soup. Please, Doctor Lobato, no. <laughs> a nice hot turtle soup. Mm -hmm. no. Nothing better on a cold night like this than some boiling hot soup. Okay. You sure? No! I mean, yes! <laughs> all right, all right. I hate oh, this character's voice. Oh, why don't I just voice. go ahead and hit you oh, up a gap? It's made of turtles. Turtles that you love. Isn't that right, Mr. Foggy Love? Okay, okay. Well, maybe I'll just make some for myself. Bring me a good brain, Shigo. Oh, uh, Mr. Pokey Loaf becomes Mr. Smokey Loaf. <laughs> Smokey Loaf. <laughs> when you're a dentist, you have to learn to have a sense of humor, you know. It helps to calm the patient down. Wait, you're a dentist? Little precious juicy brain wrapped up in some sort of boy shaped goggly gook. Well, yeah, soon have all that excess tissue removed, and then we can slip that brain into something more comfortable. Igor, that package General Oleander mentioned has arrived. Please take it up to the holding area and keep it fresh until I'm ready to stick in my thumb and pull out a. <laughs> okay. I tried to warn you. Listen, the man you're working for is a deranged lunatic. I know. I hate him. But if I don't do what he says, you you cook your little turtle from the inside out. <laughs> she your hostage situations like this are always extremely delicate. I'll have to extract Mr. Pokelope from his prison using my psychic powers. After which, this Lobato character should be fairly trivial to neutralize. Yes, because once we get Mr. Pokelope back, he'll tell us what to do. He always tells me what to do. Yes. <laughs> Sasha, Mia, Lily. Raz, you came. Unfortunately. Of course I did. We gotta get you out of here. Look! The coach must have lured Sasha and Mia here on official Psychonauts business and then ambushed them with sneezing powder. They're completely brainless. I know. I saw their brains downstairs. Listen, first things first. I was thinking about what you said about us making out. Yeah? Oh, man. I'm so glad he showed up. I was just starting to feel slightly less phlegmy. Wait, he didn't just hear. Ah! Get away from me. Stop reading my mind. Go rebrain Sasha and Mia so they can help us break this lock. Okay. TV. To extract no, Mr. Pokelo from his prison right. using my psychic Maybe powers. Are mean, and they should put your brain in one of those tanks. Too much of a coward. What can I tell you? You were right. The old legends were true. Welcome back to the thinking world, Mikhail. Mr. 
Professor Pokivo. If you could move just under that hole there, then I could lift you straight out. Could you do that for me? Huh? Mr. Pokemon, How do I get him to move? If you could move just under that hole there, then I could lift you straight out. Could you do that for me? Huh? Come on, Mr. Pokelope. Come and get your cake. out of here like nails on a chalkboard. Now you're back, Mr. Pokilope, and you'll tell us what to do. Right? You've got a plan or something, right, Mr. Pokilope? Right? That's right, baby. Daddy's here. Everything's gonna be all right. Why is the turtle now voiced by Matthew McConaughey? You always say, Shigor. No, this one is really special. It's a fighter. No, oh, just leave it there. And I'll get to it right after I'm done with this experiment. Okay. Don't worry, baby. Just make sure I get put in that old tank, and Daddy will take care of business. You say they knew I was coming? Yeah! That little army man ought to be here any second! Don't worry, Mr. Pokelope. I'll guard your body and we'll get your brain back really soon! It's doing important work right now! It's on a mission! Excellent! There it is. Good work, Shigor. Now all we have to do is get it in the brain tank somehow. Careful there now. It's time to make the soup. Sputin, recranialization of an adult brain without surgery is... That's a very advanced procedure. How did you know how to do it? Well, I've studied it a little. But Shigor here knows more about handling brains than anyone I've ever met. Really? You know I've been thinking about getting a lab assistant. Shigor, darling, do you know where all of the other children's brains are? Well, if you can lead us to them, we can bring them back to their owners immediately. Ahem! Immediately after we break young Ms. Zanato here out of her restraints. And by we, of course, you mean. Raz, come on, we need your help. Point of no return, people, we're winning. Finally! If that thing gave me a cowlick, 
Coach Oleander's gonna burn. At least he never got inside your brain. It's gonna take me weeks to get my rhythm back. Rasputin, you have surprised us yet again. I cannot thank you enough for what you've done. Hey, hey, all in a day's work for a psychonaut. <laughs> well, psy cadet, you mean. Hey, the psychonauts should be so I did your job! Like if this Friends, doesn't automatically... It's one in a million. Thanks to all of you for bringing it straight to my door. <gasps> Oleander. You! You took all my friends' brains. You turned an innocent fish into a giant monster. You stole all the teachers, derailing my education. And you kidnapped my girlfriend. Rasputin, this fight is too big for you. Back home, I had to clean up after the elephants. So trust me. I know how to take care of this ugly little pile of... Kids, let the grown-ups handle this. You tall people! <laughs> Sasha! He gets to kill him too! <laughs> uh, okay. Well, it's official. The genius is back. Time to go get ready for my gallery show. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. This looks bad. Ah, well, that's good. Someone must have turned off the gas long ago. Oh, here's what my poor flowers need. A little water. Oh, no. I spilled all my turpentine and acetone. Long time no see. Oh, Mr. Orderly. <laughs> I did not see you there. I was just taking a little therapeutic walk in the moonlight. Relax. The asylum's closed. We can all go home. Leave? Here? Thank yeah, fuck. This place is for crazy people. And I don't know about you, but I ain't crazy no more. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. You know... Maybe it is time for us all to move on. <laughs> Boyd's just a bit. What do you think, Boyd? You ready to blow this popsicle stand? I am the milkman. My milk is delicious! The milkman has completed his route. You guys want to split a cab? <laughs> okay. This game's rioting is 10 out of 10. And the crib wasn't even that clean. I mean, what do I have to do to get those guys to take me seriously? When are you going to shut up and kiss me? Um, I can hear that. I know. Bro, just take your run and leap off the side. Oh, hey, Ford's here. The psychonauts have a word for people who turn on their own. Ha! I don't need the psychonauts anymore. I'm making my own army. Got a word for that? Yeah. Gazoon tight. Huh? Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Wow. So they're all dead now.
was my fight. I was ready for that one. Always in such a rush, Rasputin. It takes years before you're ready for combat of that magnitude. Well, let's flip the script yeah, and make surprised. it work. Surprise, Nine. This one's been acing all my extra credit exams. I beat the coach once already, and I can do it again. Darling, that was just a remote projection of the coach. He wasn't as strong as he would be if he were to appear in the real world. TV. <laughs> TV. Where's his brain? Oh, probably stuck in one of his plans to take over the world somewhere. <laughs> hey, how's the weather down there? Ah, finally! Alone at last, eh, Rasputin? Glad you're finally picking on someone your own size. Yes, I've been dying for a chance to pick your brain! Two can play that game. Yeah, but only one can win! <laughs> I will be back in a minute. I really have to pee. I'm gonna need to throw stuff. Can't get a good grip. A good grip. Okay, so he is adding stuff. Get a good grip. Can't get a good grip. Hey. And I have would work. I can't touch those without getting hurt. Can't get a good grip. Bye. 
can't get a good. Wait, that's fa that's. Rip. There we go. Now I get it. I hadn't realized that was wood. There we go. This can't be the final boss. There has to be something more. Can't get a good grip. Okay. Can't be over. Yeah! <laughs> Super sneezing powder. Ugh. Try not to sneeze. Have to hold it in. <laughs> This is just great. Now what am I going to do? Have to think. <laughs> like I got a choice. Can't get a good can't get a good grip. Can't get a It's a fucking duel! supposed to know about it you didn't tell my dad about it did you <laughs> oh, that's him oh no come on little bunny we'll be safe in here The circus I remember from my childhood was definitely not made of meat. The last time I checked. No! No! Little Bunny, don't go in there! That's a bad place! That's a bad place for bunnies! Those, 
I guess. I need the steamer trunk tag for this guy. <laughs> I'm not making the trip all the way back to camp. You gotta help me save the bunny! If he just holds still, I could catch him and hide him from my dad! He runs a butcher shop. He wants to make food out of them. Oh, that's right. Mari's old man was a butcher. It looks like your childhood memories of the circus got all mixed up with his childhood memories of his dad's butcher shop. Okay. My memories were bad enough. This is just gross. Uh-oh. You'd better keep that kid out of trouble. With your brains all scrambled like this, what happens to him happens to you. Hold on. I'm trying to do something on my phone, autocorrect is being particularly annoying. I do like how I can just immediately set them on fire and not even have to worry about them. Stupid thing you can have to kill. Can't get a good grip. Needs a hat box tag. Hey, that hurts. What happens if I jump? In? Probably need to throw something in.
Yes, the meat dimension. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Straight up, throw the bunny. Come here, little bunny. My face. This is very annoying. If he dies, he dies. My face! Hey, that hurts! Yeah, because all the game said to do... Check little Ollie. So I've been doing that this entire time and nothing's changed. Nice save, game. I can't move the bunny. My face. I can't use telekinesis on the bunny. I, tr I tried. Hey, that hurts. Ow! 
<laughs> My face. What the hell am I missing? Alright, you little fat sack, get, get over here. Please, Mr. Bob. Hey, that hurts! Yeah, this kid's stupid. That was all I had to do. Other. Shout out to the bunny for being on a spot where I can't grab him. Come here, bunny. Oh, I got you, Mr. Bunny. This was cool until I realized what I had to do. Shout out to the game to immediately putting him in danger where I can't protect him. Okay. Why did my own fire attack have to set me on fire too? Don't run or else tell. This child is too stupid to survive. Waddle faster. Good lord, this killed any momentum this scene would have, this level would have had. Like it's kind of impressive. Okay, so for those of you who didn't see what happened there, basically these platforms curve out at the top, which means you can't just jump up flush with them. You actually have to be careful or you're just going to get fucking out. Like there. How did that not go on? I 
the best part is he has like three repeating lines. I better not start all the way down here back at the beginning. Come here, bunny! Come here, little Oh, I got It starts him right next to one of those fucking platforms. Remember, kids, every single hit he's taking right now is a result of this fucking wheel My being face. stupid. My face. Hey, that hurts. Ow. Ow. No. Yeah, well, that's in the game, not in real. At least he refills his health, I guess. Segment. I can't be angry, this is totally perfect design, because Tim Schafer is in no way a hack. And people bemoan the death of 3D platformers. Actually, let me correct that. The death of three platformers not named Mario. People are making them or something. Hey. 
Cutting it by the skin of my fucking we nuts. We did it! We saved all the bunnies! <laughs> now it's time for the main event! Bunny genocide! Come on! Oh, come on! This is my favorite ride! Aw, that's cute! I thought it was over! We Sonic now. Honestly, despite all the jank, this will still probably be the best Sonic 3D platform. Which has been saying a lot, I will admit. Like, what other competition does it have? Sonic Nations? I never played that one. Those monsters are gone now. The bunnies are safe. We're all safe. No! It's not safe! He's coming! Who's coming? My dad! Your dad? Okay, remember kids, when a child runs up to you in a panic and says my dad is coming, that does not mean anything good. Here, little bunnies. Don't run or else daddy's gonna kill ya. Okay. That hits hard. Bun, bun, bun. This camera. Oh, this camera. So what's even the point of trying to run away if you can just catch me? You don't even see me as a bunny, you see me as a piece of meat. I don't even know how I died there. Beep, beep. 
Okay. I see what to do. Here, bunny, bunny, bunny. Can you do the thing where your knife gets stuck in the ground, please, so I can actually uh, fight you? Okay, so I just can't run between his legs. Here, bunny, bunny, bunny. to dodge that attack. <laughs> yeah, we're attack on tightening this bitch, it looks like. that fuck you please mr bun i'm not gonna hurt you Oh my god, voice in my head, shut up. Yeah, bunny, bunny, bunny. Hit 
Come here, little bunny. There we go. That was weird. Oh boy, platforming. What the fuck? What's going on here? What have you done to our circus? Dad! Polluted. Oh. Perverted. This looks like the work of mentalists. I can explain. Have you been associating with psychics? Dad, I... Psychics. Fortune tellers. They killed your grandfather. They cursed our entire family to die in water! Yes, but... Including you, Rasputin! And me! But I'm going to live! You know why? Because... I'm still an acrobat! Let's see if you are! Okay... What's it going to be, son? Die in the water? Or show me what you got! Hold on just a moment. I was expecting a phone. I've got another job interview with this guy. Guys, come on. So, yay, I might have a job starting next week. That would be nice. Thanks, Dad. Let's see if you remember your trait. No, you can't really catch those. It's just this. You used to like to play catch with me. Yeah, but right now you're trying to murder me? Rasputin! My opinion for Maybe most people goes down to try to kill me. Guys, get up. <laughs> you used to like to play catch with me. Now so, you can't get your help. Why does my dad you look like a pirate like with a skin disease? There you go. Fucker is really choosing now to style on me.
There we go. Here comes the water. Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. It will help. <laughs> Think fast. You used to like to play catch with. Yeah, you said that now like eight times. Can read me, Grandpa. Those. I was just testing. Up here! Before the cold, clammy hand of fear pulls you under. Pretty good. Alexa, Pretty play good. Pull Me Under by now Dream Theater. Really catch those. I was just testing. It'll help. Incoming! You used to like to play catch. What's it? See, the problem with dodging those attacks is that they lower me down. That's beautiful. Think fast! No, you can't really catch those. I was just testing. <laughs> It'll help. Hey, son! Catch! Pretty good. Pretty good. Incoming! There you go. There we go. Up here! Oh, God damn it. You always were a slow one. Hey, son! Catch! Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Think fast! Incoming! No, you can't really catch those. I was just testing. You used to like to play catch. Here comes the water, boy. <laughs> hey, son, catch! No, you can't really catch those. I was just testing. Think fast! Incoming! Little help. There you go. Fuck it, I'll just start again. The water boy. Quick, up here before the cold, clammy hand of fear pulls you under. Spawn me all the way down here. Yay. 
Thanks, camera. Think fast. Incoming. No, you can't really catch those. I was just testing. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> hey, son. Catch. No, you can't really catch those. Think fast. No, you can't really catch those. There you go. Okay, good. It's on me here. Finally made it back here. Let's save. What is this ninja warrior horse shit? I mean, this looks cool, but all I'm doing is holding down. Dad, I made it! You cheated! No! I used the acrobatics you taught me! Don't lie to me, cheater! You crystal ball readers always cheat. Yeah, I'm a second, no not a gypsy. Son of mine. Oh, 
Oli, are you okay? Where's your dad? He's over there, talking to your dad. He did what? Uh-oh. Somebody's going to get grounded. Make that ground. <laughs> Good grip. Come here, little bunny. You used to like to play catch with me. Take <laughs> that! Bunny! That does nothing. Pretty good. I'm not gonna no. hurt you. Okay. I get it now. Hey, son! Catch! Good. Come here, Pretty good. buddy. Can't get a good grip. Man, those things are good. You used to like Play catch with me. There you Come go. here, little bunny. Can't get a good grip. <laughs> I'm not gonna. No, you can't really catch me. Can't those. get a good grip. I was just testing. <laughs> Those things are oh. Wait, what hit me? Damn it. There you go. Can't get a good grip. Puncture will die. Think fast. Can't get a good grip. Please, Mr. Can't get a good Bun. grip. You used to like to play catch with me. No, you can't really catch those. Here, yeah, buddy, buddy, buddy. Hey, 
Sad cat! <laughs> Come here, little bunny. Incoming! You used to like to play. Bunny! Oh, jeez, not a cool. Think fast. Pretty good. Pretty good. Please, Mr. Bun. Are you going to stop to attack or help? I do not like this fight at all. You used to like to play <laughs> I can't get a good grip. Hey, son, I'm catch! Okay, what? Oh, jeez, not Take a fast. A hard fight, it's just stupid. Rasputin, I see your skull is as hard to penetrate as ever. Damn. Freezing. What is your brain doing out here in this tank with this other brain? Who are all these unconscious people? What have you gotten yourself involved with? Psychics. He's been cavorting with filthy, cheating psychics. Is that really? Is that really how I look in my mind? Apparently. Man, do I hate psychics? Seeing my son unhappy. I don't hate psychics. I used my psychic connection with you to find you and to project myself into your mind. But how can you hate me for being psychic? If you're psychic too. Sorry. I could never hate you. I only wanted you to be happy, Rasputin. And safe. Our family has many enemies. I have a lot more hair than that. Now, son, I don't want to know where most of it is. Unweave your psyche from that other brain. We don't want anything bad to happen while your mind is in this tangled state. The damage could be permanent. Unweave? Detangle? Never! I like it this way. I mean, look at how huge! And I think I can juggle now. <laughs> This is your mind, so you are the strong one here. But I'm about to give you my son. You must take care of it, because it's everything I've got. I have a fucking stand now. Let's go. Remember your train. Don't run, or else Daddy's gonna kill ya. I'm not gonna hurt you. You gonna like throw anything at me? You always were the slow one. Here, 
bunny, bunny, bunny. Come here, bunny. And here I was thinking he was unmeetable. I came up with a better punchline than the fucking achievement I got for that. tell you about all the messed up stuff that happened. Oh, I know a lot of it. While you were out, I poked around a bit. Tell me about this lily person. Hey! And so, that brings us to the end. Where, as you can clearly see, the personal demons causing my negative behavior have all been eradicated, leaving me sane once again. This is also corroborated in CAT scan number three on page 59 of your handouts. On a personal note, I would just like to reiterate how extremely, extremely sorry I am for stealing all of your brains and trying to take over the world. <laughs> Mistakes have been made. But this <laughs> camp is all about education. Okay, and I know I, good. for one, learned plenty. Thanks to that guy right there. Come on up here, Raz. We endeavor to build strong minds here, with the power to lift things, to see things, to burn things. But it's a special quality of your heart, not your mind, that truly makes a great psychonaut. This young man has it. We did not give it to him. He got it from someone else long before he came here. But we can give him this, to honor his mind, his courage, and his heart. Son, we do not normally ask this of someone so young, but it is obvious to us all that you are not average. Will you join us, Rasputin? In getting Will the fuck Will you out. be a psychonaut? <gasps> no! <gasps> oh, hey, Dogen's dead. Oh my god, that's his hair? <laughs> no wonder he wore the fucking helmet. That hair looks goddamn ridiculous. He's got a fucking six head. Okay, let's be perfectly clear about this. That was the best summer of my whole entire life. Lily. Hey, the summer's not over yet. We can hang out for a couple of weeks still. My family's out on the East Coast. Where's yours? They move around a lot. Hmm. Well, you'd better go. Your dad's waiting for you. Um, well... Bye. Children, it's an emergency. There's been another kidnapping. I was here the whole time. You saw me. <laughs> no, this time we know who it is. Fucking and that's what scares us. Who was kidnapped? Truman Zanotto, the grand head of the Psychonauts. Dad, 
Sir, can you teleport this many of us back to headquarters? Huh? What? Hey, hey, wh what are all you people doing in my kitchen? Now get! Guess we're taking the jet. You have a jet? Don't worry about your dad, darling. We'll get him back. Yes, after all, we'll have Rasputin helping us. I'm going? Now, how could we do this without our anti-kidnapping specialist? Okay. I've taught you everything I can, son. Now, you go show them. Show them all. Kill them all for me. Let's go. Well, that was a thing that happened. <laughs> that was pretty good. I'll probably pick up Psychonauts 2 when it comes out. First, I'd have to play through that Rhombus of Ruin game or whatever it's called. Honestly, I might just call it here. I don't want to start Yakuza today or tomorrow. It just... I think I'm just going to take tomorrow off. We'll see. If I do decide to stream tomorrow, it would probably... Be, uh, Path of Pain or something. Maybe Pantheon. I'm not- I want to start Yakuza on Monday if I can. Voice director, Chris Brown. He is the milkman. His milk is delicious. So I can't skip the credits. 
but I can pause them by pressing space. We live in a society. Oh, I can just press down and it goes faster. That was a fun game. Final level overstayed its welcome a little bit, but what can you do? Yep. Oh, he's throwing you guys at. Gonna go. Tired. Nope. Oh well. Okay, I might be back tomorrow. I might not be. Not sure yet. We'll see. I'll 